It is no surprise that as one of the most advanced video editor on the market, DaVinci Resolve provides built-in auto captions for video creators. But is it free and reliable? Can you customize your captions or import an existing subtitle file? Or do you need a third-party tool to do the job? Well, if you have any of these questions, you're in the right place. In this video, I'm going to explain to you how to create high-quality subtitles on DaVinci Resolve, whether on the free or the paid version, and also introduce you an AI subtitle generator to make the entire process seamless. Ready? Let's dive in. So let's talk first about the DaVinci built-in auto caption feature. It's a convenient way to generate a transcription and subtitles from your video straight into the DaVinci Resolve editor. But keep in mind, you have to pay for the DaVinci Resolve Studio version to access the feature. Here's how it works. Step one, generate the captions. To get started in the editing, import your video file and drag your video into the DaVinci timeline. Select the video track you want to subtitle, navigate to the timeline menu and click on create subtitles from audio. Here, you can choose the language or just leave it on auto detect. You can also select the subtitle style preset. For example, here, I'm gonna choose one that follows the Netflix iconic subtitle style. And then you can click on process and DaVinci Resolve will begin analyzing the audio. Step two, review the captions. So once the transcription is completed, the generated text will appear in the subtitle panel. Here you can carefully review the text for accuracy and make necessary edits using the timeline and the caption panel. Change the transcription if it's not accurate according to the video dialog. Additionally, you can also adjust the subtitle timing by dragging each subtitle block in the timeline to sync them perfectly with your video's dialogue. When the subtitles are good for you, you can also customize their appearance. To do that, just click on a subtitle block on the timeline, then go to the track panel to modify the font, the size, the color, and the background color and the positioning. Step 3. Export the subtitles. Once your subtitles are finalized, it's time to export them. DaVinci Resolve allows you to export subtitles in various formats, such as SATI, VTT, or just to burn them into your video. To do that, navigate to the Render tab. And here, you can either click on the option to save them as a separate SRT file or to burn them into the video. Then you just have to render the video with these settings. And that's it, now you have your own DaVinci subtitles into your video. Now, if you're using the free DaVinci Resolve version, like I guess many of you, and you still want to generate subtitles efficiently, don't worry, there are other options out there. One of them, is the Auto Subs plugin. It allows you to generate your subtitles very quickly without paying for the DaVinci Resolve Studio version. Here's how we can use it here. Step one, set up the Auto Subs plugin. First, visit the Auto Subs GitHub repository to download the latest version of the plugin. Once downloaded, run the installer and follow the on screen instruction to complete the installation. Once installed, launch DaVinci Resolve and open your project. Here, you're going to see that by navigating to the top menu and selecting Workspace, Script, AutoSubs V2, this will open an AutoSubs interface where you can set up your settings before generating the subtitles. In this AutoSubs interface, you'll be able to choose the audio track that you want to subtitle and opt for the transcription model that you want to use. Usually, the default version will do it best. Then click just on Start the process. The AI will process your audio and generate a transcript 
and captions that align with your video styling. You can then click on export to then download the subtitle file. Step two, import and review the subtitles. Now, how to add these free subtitles on the timeline? To do that, just go to file, import, subtitle, and choose the subtitle file that you just downloaded. Then you just have to drag this subtitle track at the beginning of the timeline. Now that you have the subtitles, you can also review them carefully to ensure accuracy just like the last time. You can make any necessary adjustment directly in DaVinci Resolve subtitle panel. If needed, you can also fine tune the timing by dragging the subtitle blocks along the timeline to ensure synchronization. Just like for the paid DaVinci auto caption, you can, of course, also customize the appearance by clicking on a subtitle block on the timeline, then go to the track panel to modify the font, the size, the color, and the positioning of all of the captions at the same time. After that you have finalized these subtitles, you can then export them in multiple formats. Go to Render and either click on the options to save them as a separate SRT file or to burn them into the video. You just have to click on the Render option to do that. Now, if you're looking to really scale your subtitle workflow, you can use an AI subtitle generator. One is called Checksub. Unlike the caption features into traditional video editor, Checksub offers advanced customization, better accuracy, multi-language support, and a smart and real-time subtitle editor. Here's how to implement it into your workflow. Step one, access the Checksub subtitle interface. To do that, it's simple. Start by logging into your Checksub account at mycheksub.com. If you don't have one yet, it's okay, creating an account is quick and straightforward. Once logged in, upload your video to the platform. Then when it's uploaded, just choose the original language of your subtitles or potentially another language that you want to translate it to and start the process. If you already have a subtitle file, you can also go to the option menu and activate the option to upload it. Then you can add any subtitle or transcription file that you have and get started from there. And it will only take a few minutes. Step two, review the subtitles. Now here's the best part. You now have access to Checksub's real-time subtitle editor. Here we can review and edit the transcription directly in the editor and the subtitles will be synced in automatically based on your modifications just like here. With this editor, you can then adjust any small errors that the AI transcription can still make from time to time. Once your subtitles are polished, you can also customize their appearance in details. For that, go to the style panel, apply any template that you want if you want to apply a template and not do manual edits, or adjust the font size, color, background and placement manual. You can also add animation based on our various animation template. Like this one. This one looks good. Step 3. Export your subtitles. To do that, it's also easy. Go to the export panel and then here you can either click on the button video if you want to download your video with burning subtitles or on the button subtitle if you want to get your subtitles into the SRT VTT file. You'll then immediately get your video with the right subtitle style or the right subtitle format. And that's it. That's how you generate customized and personalized DaVinci subtitles. Whether you're using the built-in auto caption feature, the free plugin, or an AI platform like Checksub, you now know how to add high quality subtitles to DaVinci videos. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, or if you have any question, leave a comment below the video. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next one.